this is Matt William Henry coming at you from my home office one more time I hope this uh, message finds you well and safe and not too stir crazy it's a beautiful day outside um, but here we are inside um, as the death toll in the US surpasses 50,000 I'm a little confused more than a little confused about how anyone would call this a hoax <laughs> But I'm not going to get into politics. I'll tell you a little more about um, some of the pivotal sort of historical moments of William Henry. <coughs> so, when I started in '97, I designed and produced liner locks. Uh, those of you who are knife people will know what they are. Um, but there's a liner. In my case, I made them out of titanium that springs in front of the blade from one side uh, to lock it open, and then you disengage that by pushing the sort of sprung part of the liner over and closing the blade. Um, and we made beautiful liner locks. They were not easy to make at the level we made them, um, but they certainly helped put us on the map uh, in the knife industry at that time. But around 2002, 2003, I started looking at alternatives. I wanted something more secure. I wanted something more um, that are more comfortable to use and more intuitive, especially for non-knife people, because I was always, my intention was always not to just sell to a knife aficionado, but to create an aficionado um, who was not into knives uh, through William Henry. So that was when I started playing around with a button lock. And at that time that I could find, all the button locks that I found were actually automatic knives. They were switch blades, which are, were and still are legal in some places. Um, so the button locked the blade open and it locked the blade closed and then there was a coil spring and you'd push the button and that would um, that would power the blade open. Uh, I didn't uh, particularly want to make automatic knives, I wanted to make one hand opening knives where the user opens it, not a spring. So I bought a couple automatics, I took them apart to understand the geometry and what all people had figured out and then spent a little while engineering a detent in the closed position rather than a full lock so that the button pushes into a detent to hold the blade closed but you can override that by operating the thumb stud and manually open the knife without having to push the button to open the knife. That was the original William Henry button lock and I did three designs right out of the gate and I thought it was a great idea and I didn't know um, how the market would respond, especially a market that was uh, so enamored of our liner locks. But I went to, in 2003, I went to the International Blade and Cutlery Show, which is the sort of the big industry show in this trade. So there are about 90 manufacturers, hundreds of custom makers, suppliers, collectors, everything in between. So anyhow, 80 or 90 manufacturers, though two of those three original designs won top awards at that show for the industry. One was overall knife of the year, which is the pinnacle, and got me on the cover of a couple magazines. And the other was a more dressed up version uh, of a piece with Damascus and Mokame and Mother of Pearl and Opal. And, and that one won the investor collector knife of the year. <laughs> so that was very heartening. I felt like I was really onto something. And I love the button lock. I love the way it worked. I love the seamlessness of the design. I love that you could operate it without ever putting your fingers in front of the blade travel, which just made it feel safe. And, and I've always been, William Henry, I've always been about understanding, obviously at the high end, but the knife as an essential tool as opposed to the knife as a weapon. And I wanted a mechanism and a way of operating a knife that no one would be afraid of. Uh, and I really found that in the button lock. So over the next couple of years, I took all of our original designs that were liner locks and re-engineered them into button locks and by sometime in late 2005 um, liner locks were the thing that we got started with but were a thing of the past uh, and we've iterated the button locks in so many different ways since then uh, and I love the mechanism and I love how comfortable and intuitive it is whether you're a knife aficionado or it's really your first time holding a pocket knife um, it's easy, it's comfortable, it's secure, it's obvious. It is non-threatening in combination with all of what we try to do at William Henry is to say, hey, knives make sense. Um, it's not all that we do, but on the knife side, knives make sense as a part of 
people's lives. They're necessary. Kitchen knives, pocket knives, and for some people, hunting and fixed blade knives, they are an essential tool. Um, and anything that I can do to bring that tool to a wider audience and a wider range of credibility, uh, I feel like is a win, not just for William Henry, uh, but for the little industry that I originally started in. So there you go, a little more tidbit. Uh, thank you. And we will see you next time.